I vary in here. Um, pagpasensya niyo na, medyo potato quality ako ngayon. Kasi, uh, una sa lahat, uh, this is unplanned. Dapat sana bigla ang live to. Pero, naisip ko, uh, out of respect for the guy that we're going to tackle today, uh, I might as well just do this on a recording. Uh, hindi ko na siya ibibigla ang live. Kasi, una sa lahat, medyo late na rin ang balita. Late na rin ako sa balita. I just had to sleep. Pangalawa, uh, kakatapos ko lang uh, i-edit at i-upload yung uh, YouTube uh, video ko tungkol sa Starship uh, SN10. So, ngayon, um, if uh, this isn't ano, if this isn't obvious enough, uh, we're going to uh, pay tribute to... Let's say one of the uh, one of the heroes or one of the uh, one of the few men who shaped uh, the 21st century uh, 21st century Philippines uh, as it is, and uh, that guy happened to be Father Joaquin Bernas S.J. So. Uh, kung hindi pa ano kung hindi pa obvious yung ano niya yung credentials niya dun sa ano sa nakita ninyo uh, basically uh, he is a priest of the society of Jesus uh, two um, two time president of the Ateneo de Manila uh, he was also the dean of the Ateneo Law School so basically abogado din siya uh, he's a civil lawyer and a Jesuit priest. I don't know how how it goes, pero kasi, ang mga Jesuita talaga, marami silang ano eh, marami silang, let's say, they have a lot of hats to wear. I mean, in the conception of uh, the Society of Jesus, karamihan sa mga ano na yun, mga, uh, sabihin natin, 16th to 17th century uh, Jesuits, meron din silang mga science, uh, science backgrounds. Um, some of the craters in the moon are named after Jesuits. And, uh, kahit pa paano eh, uh, they are, uh, they are pursuing, uh, you know, uh, science and a lot of other stuff. So, uh, it just so happened that Father Bernas was, uh, the president of the Ateneo uh, during the 1986 uh, People Power Revolution. Now, I don't want to dabble into the political BS uh, about about that and uh, his involvement. But then again, uh, it's just unfortunate that this uh, kind of happened uh, just days after the 35th anniversary. So, uh Siguro na kaano lang. It's just um nakalungkot lang din na ano na nangyari to. But then again, Father Bernas is an old man. He's an old uh, Jesuit and most likely a eh, I think he's just he's one of the one of the few uh, people who have framed the 1987 constitution. To still be alive until today. So, lalang. Ah, uh, talagang naka ano lang, nakalungkot lang na ito nangyare. And uh, it's really something that uh, is inevitable. That's for sure. That's inevitable. Death is is inevitable. And uh, say what you want about Father Bernas. Uh, although I might have, although I have some uh, reservations as well uh, on some of the some of the things that he had uh, he have said uh, back when he was still alive, specifically uh, be, uh, specifically on the reproductive health uh, saga. But then again, I still have my respect, and I still have my admiration, and I still have uh, the. Uh, I still have, uh, I still don't uh, discredit Father Bernas because he is one of the framers 
of the 1987 Constitution. And as a Filipino who, uh, who has lived during the era of the 1987 Constitution, I, I can absolutely um, say that my loyalty is to God, country, and the Constitution in that order. And uh, nakaka ano lang, nakaka lungkot lang na he died during this time, na medyo pandemic situation pa. I am not sure about the cause of death. Let me just check this out. Uh, mid uh, mid recording, uh, what was his cause of death? Uh, hindi ko na siya share screen kasi. Uh, Medyo, ano, mabilis lang din to. So, a lot of um, news articles and uh, there's a lot of news articles anyway. So, I might as well just um, read a bit. Although I've researched this, kasi, pero syempre, I wanted to uh, make sure then. So, he died uh, aged 88 years old. And uh, there are no details on the on his cause of death. For some reason, I think uh, maybe it's just um, Ateneo or the Jesuits are just um, just informing them in brief na namatay na si Father Bernas, and Father Bernas is. Uh, one of the one of the most uh, respected um, uh, legal uh, giants in uh, the Philippine bar and uh, I guess uh, any lawyer would not dispute it dahil constitutionalist si Father Benas so uh no, I, I understand. I, for sure, no lawyer would uh, would really, you know, would really uh, bad mouth his reputation because number one, uh, he is a constitutionalist, and number two, his sweet siya. So, parang naging ad- additional points na lang yung ano yung pagiging his sweet at ang pagiging pari niya. Although it would be nice as well that uh, he have um, served God in his ministry as a Jesuit priest, but then again, in his contribution to, uh, to the laws of the land, I, th- I really think, and I, uh, I'm led to believe that, uh, he has served the church in what he is, uh, doing in the matters of the state. But then again, uh, it's up to history to decide, uh, about his, ano, uh, about his achievements. And uh, siguro ang ano ko na lang, parting shot ko na lang, or parting words ko na lang dito, eh, uh, napaka ano lang talaga, napaka, uh, sabihin natin ano, napaka lungkot na araw to sa legal community. I am not sure if uh, Attorney Libayan would uh, would uh, dish out uh, his ano his obituary uh, on this day, mabayang gabi. Pero I would absolutely ano, I would absolutely check that out. So I guess you um, magsubscribe na lang din kayo sa batas natin yung channel ni Attorney Libayan. So um, maybe you can ano maybe you can check that out later. And I really hope na ano na mag ano siya mag live reaction siya uh, mamayang gabi or sometime this day kasi sa ngayon let me just check it out quick check out then um teka wait let's not in okay so sa ngayon wala pang uh wait Uh, 
sa ngayon, wala pa yatang upload si Attorney Libayan. Yes, wala pa siyang ano, wala pa siyang wala pa may na-upload si Attorney Libayan, baka maunahan ko pa siya. But, I would, ano, I would just keep this short so that uh, you can uh, you can switch to Attorney Libayan's uh, video uh, sometime today or tonight. So, uh, yun lang naman ang ano ko, masasabi ko. So, this is just a short recording and I would just like to uh, let you know that Father Bernas, the Filipino Jesuit Constitution list, is dead. And may he rest in peace. So, with all that said, this is Ian reminding you to at all times be the salt of the earth and the light of the world. Until then, look alive, stay alive. I might try to do another format or do a, another video with this kind of format uh, after this recording, pero bahala na. But then again, as always, see you next time. Ian out.